Hello again, I'm John Parker and this is our second little video uh, about helping young writers write better stories for the Barford and Thompson Young Authors Challenge. Now, as you can see on the board, this one is about creating tension and a satisfying plot. Very important. And there are three parts here. Give your characters a problem. Solve the problem satisfyingly or positively. Lastly, use shorter sentences in the exciting parts. So let's talk about the first point. Give your characters a problem in a little more detail. And it's all about tension. Tension is so very important. Otherwise, if you're not tense and interested in what the story is about to say, you won't bother reading it. So make sure you create tension for your, write, for your reader. You want the reader to be excited or worried or concerned. You want them to want to know what's going to happen next. So one of the best ways of doing this is to have a problem. If you haven't got a problem, the chances are you haven't got a story. Think of Lindley Dodd and Harry McClary. Harry McClary from Donaldson's Dairy. That was all about the dog. Would the dog, Harry McClary, be able to keep the bone? That was a problem. Can the slow tortoise possibly beat the fast hare? That's a problem. That's a problem that keeps the reader interested and wanting to know what's going to happen next. So thinking about the possible characters in my first talk, some of them. The conceited dolphin. The dolphin has conceit. That's a characteristic of this particular dolphin. And maybe that conceit puts it into a net, a fishing net. So that's a problem. Or the absent-minded boy leaves his lunch at home. Or forgets his homework. Aha! Problems! Or the old tree learns that it's going to be chopped down. Big problem. Or the empty shed is lonely. That's a problem. How are we going to fix them? So let's look at the next point. Solve the problem satisfyingly or positively. Well, the conceited dolphin caught in that net. How is it going to be saved? It might be saved by lots of little sprats, say. And the theme there is the dolphin learns to be humble. Learns that the small parts of the fish, the small fish in the sea, can also help the bigger fish. The lonely shed, say. How are we going to save, solve the problem of loneliness? Well, we might have a pregnant cat come in and give birth to kittens. The shed has some hay and is lonely, the cat needs shelter and it wants hay for the kittens. So the two things work together. The lonely shed gets less lonely and we get a theme of partnership and sharing, a good, positive, satisfying theme. Or let's say the old tree, what's going to happen to that? Well, a flock of rare birds or a rare bird might make a nest in that tree. And everybody says, we can't possibly chop that tree down because this wonderful rare bird is making a nest and we need all the fledglings to survive. That solves the problem and it's about cooperation. The tree gives a nest and the bird saves the tree. It's satisfying and it's positive and it solves the problem that keeps the reader interested in the story. Now, use shorter sentences in the exciting parts. Make sure your sentences, when you get exciting bits, are short for dramatic effect. For example, the door burst open. Dad fell backwards. Mum couldn't stop laughing. Three simple, crisp, short sentences. Shorter sentences are like a faster pulse. If you're excited, your heart beats faster. Your sentences should beat faster too. And lastly, about the shorter sentences, do make sure they're not run-on sentences. Your teacher will explain about that. Don't use commas between short sentences. 
because it makes them, it makes them look unexciting. Keep them short and crisp with the full stop. The door burst open, full stop. Dad fell backwards, full stop. Mum couldn't stop laughing, full stop. So that's the end of my second little video about creating tension and a satisfying plot. And the most important part of all of this is having a problem. Hope you found that useful.